Every day driving home is an opportunity for self-reflection on what I could have done better. And the reality is, we're just trying to survive. My team and I were busting our, our butts every single day on these front lines. We're seeing patients that are younger, they're decompensating quicker. I know we're not alone in this, but it's, it's definitely um, peaking. There's so many patients coming into the ER and we're scrambling daily to create more patient rooms. Sometimes it's three o'clock in the morning, sometimes midnight. We're scrambling every day. There's patients that you're checking on multiple times a day. You go in the room, you do everything you can. Your best sometimes isn't good enough. I remember a lady and she was crying, trying to to say that she doesn't like to, to die. And it was very hard to, to me to see this, this lady and crying and saying all the time, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. These patients we are not seeing go home. When we look at them and think about our families, we think about their families and how they're dealing with this. It's not easy. It's, it's not been easy by any means. The hardest part is when the patients are asking you to save them. They're, they can't breathe and they're telling you, please save me, save me, do everything you can to keep me alive. And you're, we're doing everything we can. There's just nothing you can do. You just run out of options. Having a background in uh, nursing and public health, the lack of uh, widespread vaccination utilization is, is perplexing to me because what seems so simple is being politicized and tainted with misinformation. The rampant spread of misinformation is preventing us as a nation, as a state, as a community from progressing and, and getting past this together. If a year ago you would have asked me, are you okay? Absolutely. I, I think we all walked in ready for war, right? We were the heroes. And now, who are we? We're ostracized for being vaccinated. We're ostracized for wearing masks. We're, we're the ones though, that at the end of the day, when you're scared and you're tired and you don't know if you can take another breath, we're holding your hands. We're crying with your family. And we are the ones trying to make a difference.